Let's take a look at how to make a GIF inside of Photoshop. In front of me, I have this cool photo taken at nighttime with a man wearing a neon mask. The idea I have for animating this into a GIF is by creating a glowing outline that repeats itself into an infinite loop. So to begin the process, we need to go to Window, Timeline. And at the bottom, use the arrow keys to select Create Frame Animation. It's important that you select this as it's intended for GIFs. Select the Create Frame Animation button, and now we see our timeline with the first frame. Let's make sure that there is no delay on the first layer by selecting the text at the bottom of it, choose 0 seconds, and let's also make sure that playback is set to forever. Now I'm going to create a new layer and start drawing my first outline. Obviously go with whatever style you want when you attempt this, I decided to go with a thin blue brush. Once you have your first take done, hide this layer and create a new one repeating the outline in a similar way. Now do this 5 to 10 times so that we can visually see a difference. So now that you have some variations of the outlines, make sure only the original image is visible and press the plus icon for the amount of layers you've created. First, let's uncheck the propagate layer 1 now go through every frame and make one outline visible from top to bottom. And once you're done, press play to see the final result. That's a good start. Let's get rid of the first layer without any outlines and that should help with the visibility. Next, let's add a glow to the outlines. I will start with the first frame. Let's uncheck the propagate layer 1. You only need to do this on layer 1. And then right click on the outline layer to use blending options. In my outer glow section, I've already set the settings for this, so I'm going to press OK. And then right click to copy the layer style. So that I can go into the outline of every frame and paste it in as an identical glow. With all of that completed, let's press play again and we have our final result. To export this, go to File, Save for Web. And at the top, let's set it to GIF. And then at the bottom, let's reduce the image size to something like 1200 pixels in width since it's way too large. This is all based on preference, but if it's going to be uploaded to Facebook, it's best to keep it low. And of course, some websites have a file size limit, so you can monitor the output size in the bottom left corner. Reducing the image size is not the only way to do this. You can also increase the lossy to something like 10 to compress the image. And now we're dealing with a couple hundred kilobytes. Don't increase this too much as the quality will suffer drastically. Lastly, make sure you have looping options set to forever and then select save. Incredible. Now just imagine you set a couple hours or even weeks into one image, the possibilities that could open up. And this was Design Dummy.